Hey everyone, I thought I'd just stop in real quick and show you some kits that I am, I have uploaded into my shop. So I, I like to do these videos for people that come to the shop and want to see what you're going to get in the kit. It's just easier than taking a bunch of photos because uh, Etsy only allows nine photos. So um, this is just easier because there's more than nine items in the kit. But I did a bowling theme, a vintage bowling theme, because I found I was at um, uh, this huge flea market and I found a bowling outfit, size 10, Mrs. Size 10 uh, pattern, vintage pattern. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And I knew I had a couple of things. Oh, I take this shut. Hold on one second. I knew I had a couple of other items in my stash. And when I found this, I was like, I've got to do a bowling theme. All right. So there's bowling on the back side of Betsy McCall. But if you don't want to use the other side, you can always use the skier. Okay. So what you're going to get, and this is considered like a smaller, this is like smaller than my normal kits because, you know, it was a difficult theme, but I did find a few things. So. Um, you're going to get a Scrabble set that actually says bowling, uh, some pieces that can spell bowling. So if you love bowling and then if you have a heart, if I find a, like some kind of little heart, I will put it in here. Cause that would be really cute is if it had like a little heart that said heart bowling, but if not, I'm sure you could find something. I kind of got rid of all my. Uh, Valentine stuff when I did the Valentine kit so but anyway look how cute and you can paint these you can stain them but I've seen really cute where they paint the base of it and then leave this part wood and I have these uh, around my house that have all different kinds of sayings on them and some are painted some are stained I take you can take permanent marker to stain them with um, or ink tents will actually work also so anyway says bowling so you're gonna get that they're always fun and then this is the sweet look at and look how she's holding her glasses up that's so cute but look at her with her little bowling ball so if you are in a bowling league or you enjoy bowling you're actually going to get the pattern inside so it look it appears that it has been used uh, I don't know what year this is from. It does have a copyright, but it does not have the date. I'm assuming this looks like from the hairdos, probably 60, early 60s, uh, maybe late 50s because it's got the bobby socks. So, but I did not see, um, uh, it appears, no, maybe it has not been, oh, there's a pin which I'm going to take out so you guys don't stick yourselves. There's no reason to have that in there, a rusty old pin. But, oh, maybe it was cut. Okay, so it's been used, but it appears like all the pieces are here. This piece been used? No. So, let me see if I can find a date, because sometimes they'll put the date on here. Uh, Oh, yeah, someone made the skirt. She circled it. But it appears that all the pieces are there. I don't see a date. Just this printed in the USA. So, so cute. But if you want to use it for a junk journal, use it for a junk journal. But I think that this is very rare because I am not, I have a, hundreds of patterns and I've never seen the bowling one so if you are looking for a bowling outfit and you want to make one here's your chance or you could always scan it and use it uh, it's copywritten so you can't you wouldn't be able to scan it and sell it but um, like as an item but anyway you could always scan it and then make a cute journal cover so there's that. Then I had this card game. 
some pieces of this card game called Bolo. And I thought this was really cute. So I put in some cards with the little bowling pins. It's a vintage bowling game. But I threw some of those in there. I found this is a bowler spelled backward. It was some kind of exam, some kind of game. I don't know, game card. But when I saw bowler, I'm like, got to use that. On my Dymo, on my vintage Dymo, I did a few of these um, labels. And I did like... I love bowl. I love to bowl, strike, lanes, spare. So you have those to add. Then in, it took me a while, but in my search of, in some magazines, I found an ad for bowling shoes. Now, come on. When I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh. So I've been working on this kit for a long, for a long time. And I just feel like, you know. Anyway, I had these. These are by Stickopotamus. I don't know what year these were from. They are, I don't know if you remember Stickopotamus. I don't see a date on them. But remember, you, you could collect them and they had a little, like, little notebook you could keep them in, a little binder, and you can collect them. But I had these bowling themed ones. I thought these were so cute. I couldn't believe I had these. So put those in. I have a artist impression, I think the company's called Stamp. And it has this bowling lady. It says, you're gutterly incredible. So I put that in. I stamped it. And this is um, just like a little bag of some sort. Craft. Then I found this ad in another magazine. And this is... This was actually fabulous wood finish flooring for a bowling lane finish. Fabulon, twin of our famous bowling lane finish. So I was like, okay, I gotta add that to the kit. Okay, then there's this came out of a book, which I came across this is a children's, some kind of children's reading book. And, but it had, look at, it had a grandma bowling. She's holding her skirt and she's bowling. So anyway, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and I added that in those two pages in. And then I found this ad for Clorox. I don't, this came out of a 1970s or 60s might be like family circle because it's smaller but look at it's a bowling team now come on how perfect is this and then I found uh this is out of a Betsy McCall coloring book so this is like a really old coloring book it does have quite a big of a tear in the bottom but you could glue it on a piece of you know craft paper scrapbook paper or you could scan it and shrink it and use it however you want to, but she is Betsy McCall. So this is really fragile, older. Um, I, I'm not really sure what year Betsy McCall was. I want to say it was the fifties. Uh, so, and it has already been colored by some little girl that owned this uh, coloring book that I had. Um, but anyway, I thought she was really sweet. So yeah, that's um, the kit. So again, there's a few tears in some of the things, but the items are imperfectly usable, scannable, you know, for whatever you want to use it for. And that is the bowling kit. I have it very reasonably priced considering this is a really rare um, item. And um, anyway, so that's my bowling that is the bowling kit. And these are already up in my shop. Okay, so let me put this back in. Ah! And then I'll move on. I have three baking themed kits um, they have more items in this I believe there's 60 items in the kit it is all baking themed
how cute they are. Ugh. So cute. With their little horn rimmed glasses. So I cut, um, I was trying to keep the shipping down on, on these because they are a smaller kit and I didn't want you to have to pay outrageous shipping. I do have free shipping if you're going to get something that is over $35. My shop does free shipping. So, and I have tons of stuff up there in the shop. Not only kits, but um, different kinds of journals and stuff. So that's that one. And then these are, which come in, it'll either come in a vintage curtain that I sewed. Um, they, these are all have been washed and pressed and they smell great. And uh, I made an envelope. So, or you're going to get a vintage sheet. But I had two of this fabric left. And so, or I have, this came up of a little kitchen curtain. And, um, so these are the kits. I'm going to open up one so you can see what kind of comes in it. They are very similar but different because the images are going to be different. The cards will be have a different theme. The, um, uh, but they have the same items. Does that make sense? So if you got a if you got a one of these flashcards, you'll get a flashcard, but it may have an apron on it or something. Um, so anyway, this is. It they'll all come with some little kind of recipe booklet. This has sifter, a sifter, but they're all baking related. So here is ice cream desserts. This one is from the Enterprise Homemade Ice Cream Freezer, and it has it shows you how to. Oh, look at this! You plug it in. I never opened this. You plug it into the wall and then you put it in your freezer. That's crazy. And then you shut your freezer door. So it's plugged in inside your freezer. What? That is so crazy. That is funny. Anyway, so it's got some really nice ice cream recipes and sherbets and different ways to make different kinds of toppings. Oh, here's butterscotch sauce, brown sugar, salt, corn syrup, water, butter, vanilla, cream. Mmm, marshmallow sauce. Combine a quarter pound of marshmallows with a half a cup, quarter cup of milk and heat slowly in a double boiler, stirring occasionally until the marshmallows are melted. Best served when warm. Caramel sauce, caramel syrup, cream, vanilla, and salt. Wow. This sounds wonderful. All different kinds of sundaes you could make. Um, lemon mousse, creme de menthe, parfait, baked Alaska. Ooh, these look yummy. Now I'm wanting ice cream and I don't have any ice cream. So you'll get this little glassine bag. And then in the glassine bag, has and this kit has a pepper mill. I just put this in here because you know a pepper mill. It's an actual card. Then this has like hazelnut card. I, I have no idea. I got this when I was in New Zealand, I think, or somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Um, it's some kind of game. Oh no, I got this in Italy. It was some kind of game from Italy, but anyway, it has flashcards that says nuts. Here's some dry Shannon belong. If you're going to make something, it's a label. Then there's little from the kitchen stickers and then a how to cut your cake. And then this is some kind of German spice thing or something. I don't know. But anyway, I put that in there. Those were fun. I got a bunch of those out of an estate sale. The lady kept them. Uh, they're pretty old. And so um, passing them on. Okay, so that's that pouch. Then in this pouch, this is like a little sweets pouch. Um, in this kit, it has this sweets pouch. I don't know if this comes in every kit, but you'll get some kind of pouch. Um, okay, so you get a guest check. 
uh, some of these receipts. These are old. This one is Knee High Bottling Company for RC Cola. If you guys remember, I remember drinking Knee High Orange and Knee High Grape. I don't, I've never had False City beer and I've never had a lemon sour, but lemon sour, that sounds interesting. Here's a specialty of the house that you could have a recipe card of your own. This came from an Eckerd drugstore receipt. I just thought these were pretty cool. So I put them in there. They're from 1954. I didn't even know Eckerd drugs was around in 1954. And I don't even know if Eckerd's is still around. This is a Florida store. Um, a little sweet season, like journaling card. Here's another uh, with the jam, jelly. A pie. Pie. I don't know what this is, but I had a piece of pie. Um, this is like a little sheet notepad. So that are the, the smaller ephemera in there. And then in here I have let me pull this out. You're gonna get another game card. This is from Old Maid and this has choosy chef. Now, th there's another one in one of the kits. There's two of these and then something else in another one. So that'll be different. But you'll see it because these are on the front of the two kits that are in my listing on my shop. So, but look how cute he is. He's very cute. Here's a pie uh, flash card. Here's another card. Um, this is a definition card for caterer. And then here's a vintage. Each of them will have some kind of vintage a little kitchen or a little lady in her apron. So here she is in her little apron holding, I believe it looks like a little cupcake. So you'll get a vintage, uh, original vintage picture, photograph. Then I had this stamp set, it had Pyrex bowls on it with a little whisk and I stamped this little coin thing and in here are some little bits and pieces. And here's a little chipboard of a pop. So this could be your orange. This would be so cute. Oh my goodness. You could do this because it had orange knee high on it. And that's what I'm thinking. You could use the knee high bottling company and then look how cute and then put that on there. And then you could always circle the knee high orange for the knee high bottling company. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Okay. See, if I had thought of that, I would not put that in that kit. <laughs> I would have kept it for myself. <laughs> anyway, okay, so you got that. Um, here's a little tag that says special, like today's special. Here's a supermarket uh, ticket, maybe for some drawing a supermarket had. I don't know. I got a bunch of those. And here is a milk. Um, drink more clean milk as opposed to drinking dirty milk. Here is some kind of product ticket. Um, this was punched out a little mason jar punched out of some scrapbook paper. And then I put baking, I used my labeler and did baking on the labeler. And that's what comes in the little coin envelope. Here is a sweet little, I loved this recipe card. It says from the kitchen of, and this is for praline frosting, which just sounds delicious. I may have to copy this one before I send it. Three cups of brown sugar, six tablespoons of butter, one half cup of light cream, one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoons powdered sugar, sifted chopped nuts, and vanilla. And then you cook it over in a pan. Sounds delicious. Okay, then you get a course. You have to have a doily if you're baking, right? Um, then there are some larger items in here. So this was yummy, delicious Betty Crocker. Um, and then look at her throwing her apron up in the air. But this is for Knox unflavored gelatin, cranberry souffle salad, and pumpkin chiffon pie. So those are pretty interesting recipes. And then this was for Betty Crocker the country kitchen cake mixes. So don't those look yummy? I am wanting cake right now. Okay. Um, here's a mom doing dishes with her little bear. 
here is a, a little woman coming out of the grocery store carrying her groceries. Here is a vintage recipe card. It says, here's what's cooking recipes from. Here's another, here's what's cooking from the kitchen of recipe card. Cinnamon rolls, yummy. This is baked good and then teaches you how to make cinnamon rolls. These look delish. Okay. I may be copying that one too. <laughs> cherry cobbler. Oh my gosh, I love cherry cobbler. This sounds good too. Okay, so anyway. Oh look, and it says you make it in an eight, eight inch square Pyrex pan. So sweet. And this one's by Mrs. John Leela Kirk. Here's some SH green stamps. Here is a cute little woman. <laughs> Here's a woman with her little baking bowl and an apron, a calls pattern. Okay, this one, two of them get uh this is like a, what's that called? A mitt, an oven mitt stencil. So this one is from Club Scrap from March 2004. So I think another one has like salt and pepper in it. And then one of them does not have a stencil in it. And I believe it's the one that has the aqua, little aqua thing. So I only had two stencils. So only two of the kids get stencils. But I put something else in the other kit. So uh, here's a piece of pie. Out of a magazine, a shopping list, Comstack pie slice apples. I fussy cut these out of a magazine, vintage magazine I had. And then there's another shopping list and strawberries. And then I did like, these are, I don't know if you guys remember these. These are from 2000. They're cockadoodle design and you get like a header for your scrapbook page and then you get like some frames. So there's two die cut frames, but I just thought the cherries were so cute. And then you could always do like, this would be the cutest page if you did. Okay. So you get cherry cobbler. Maybe that's why I put it in here with this. So you get the cherry cobbler, you put like friends, you could have you and your bud doing, you know, eating some cherry cobbler, make the recipe, have some friends over. Um, and then I would, where is that little Comcast or Comstock thing I cut out? What's weird? Oh, it must be under this. Oh yeah. So anyway, um, and then I'd take that little piece of pie, maybe. Although, here, here we go, pie slices. Like, this would be the cutest page. Could you see that in a book? I could. Oh, my gosh. You could just cover over, like, the apple. Ah, that's adorbs. Okay. So anyway, that's this so far. Then, oh, that's right. Because I put in that stencil I put in the happy cook hot pads so it's like a, it's a hot pad and then here is the here's how on how to do different stitches if you want a slow stitch but I did put that page in there um, here's a homemade bread out of a children's craft magazine and then here is the bread baking bread um, farm sounds look how cute that is uh, a baking bread poem or story. You will get this peach. They are half stones, yellow, free stone peach. This is a can label, uh, a vintage can label. So these are like, were they were never used. And um, yeah, they were all stapled together. I got like a bunch of those. So mm, look at this yummy cake. Two egg chocolate chiffon cake. And it gives you the recipe using gold metal flour. Oh my goodness. I wish I had four squares of unsweetened chocolate right now because I have everything else. That would be like yummy. I wonder, and then this has uh, like different, um, look at it's dad's birthday. So this is what you're gonna make. They have different, uh, what do you call it? Menus. Okay, so for dad's birthday, you're going to give him tangy tomato juice, corn chips, special broiled steak, which has that recipe right here, 
O'Brien potatoes, buttered asparagus, mixed green salad, and birthday cheesecake. Coffee, his choice of coffee or cocoa. That's so funny. Here's Friday company dinner. Oh my goodness. That's cute. This says um, special broiled steak. Probably dad likes his steak cut thick and cooked medium rare. Watch your supermarket and take advantage of beef specials. Favorite sirloin, porterhouse, or club cuts. Or buy a budget steak to treat with meat tenderizer. All will broil to juicy perfection. For the budget steak, buy a two to three inch cut of lean blade. Arm chuck, rump, top, bottom round, or sirloin tip of beef. This is the meat usually packaged for pot roasting. Your supermarket may not carry all these cuts, but it will have a choice. At home, sprinkle both sides with meat evenly with meat tenderizer. Use no salt. Interesting. Uh, with a fork, pierce the steak about an inch apart all over. Let stand at room temperature one hour. When ready to broil, brush with a mixture of two tablespoons melted butter or margarine, one tablespoon of bottled thick meat sauce, and broil four to six inches from the heat, brushing once or twice with the butter. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look how cute this is. So, there's that. I'm sorry. Okay, I put in a couple sheets of scrapbook paper that I thought would look really cute together. Um, I like to do this in case people like to scrapbook with their kits or if you want to make a mini album. These are really nice to use to like back these thinner pages with. So if you want to put it on like and stick it on some scrapbook paper. So I always try to toss in a couple pieces. These are themed. Look, you got cherry paper that goes with that cherry cobbler. Uh, here's a Libby's tomato sauce and a fruit cocktail ad. And then here's a little funny on the back. How am I to tell how the table looks? You haven't any food on it yet. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Okay. And then here's some old wrapping paper that has like sweets, little bakes on it. A tablescape postcard. Which, look at with the gingham. I thought this was super cute. Doesn't have a year on it. It looks like it's 70s with the weather being very 70s. Here it is measuring methods out of a cookbook. I got a cookbook and it had these pink envelopes in them. Look how cute they are. So I am sharing them. I didn't want to share them, but I'm sharing them. So each of the baking kits will have these really cute envelopes are these not the cutest oh my gosh look at this with the little round confections in it and the coffee grinder or spice mill pepper mill oh my goodness i just thought those were like the cutest so i'm sharing those this is from food ingredients cocoa and chocolate these are definitions out of a um this was actually out of a school manual for home ec and um i pulled some pages out of it this is from um hollandaise sauce fish and meat oh it was a uh, like a divider and something candies look at these scoops i thought these would be super cute if you cut the scoop out scoops out wouldn't that be a cute page to just have this like at the top or something or you could put it on a tag very cute love that this just is a country kitchen ad. Good, con good country, good country kitchen ad. So there's like dear old Dairy Queen. These are kind of fun. That was from 1983. These actually my mom gave me. Um, so I decided to take, if I found anything I could use, I pulled it out. And then this is from a Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck, Sears and Roebuck catalog from the 19... I think it was 1920s or something and they um they remade it and so uh back in the 60s I think and um so anyway I put that in there so that is what's in the baking kits 
Um, like I said, the two other kits are different from this one. Uh, they have basically the same thing except for, like I said before, the, um, the um, stencil because I only had two of those. But I believe I put something else in the one that didn't have the stencil. And I think this one here is does not have the stencil in it. Um, but I may have put more pages in there. And, oh no, this one has the stencil. Okay, this one does. And this one has the um, it's like a salt and pepper shaker stencil. I can't get it out of there. Anyway, yeah, so this one did have, have it in it. So maybe it's the other one then. Let me see. So this one has the stencil, has the salt and pepper shaker in it. But then everything else on the inside, other than the images, are going to be pretty much alike. Of course, you know, different magazine pages and things, but all like baking, cooking things. Okay. So I think I just put in, oh, this got a bigger booklet. That was it. It's the Sunbeam Mix Master um, booklet in it. And I did more, but I believe everything else is the same. Um, but this did not have a stencil. This does have the cherry frames um, and the cherries. It has a tablescape of some sort card. So just different images, same things. This has a bigger booklet in it. This was the Sunbeam Mix Master, which I thought was pretty cool with all the different cakes and stuff. So this one got a bigger, um, of course, this is not attached, so I just want to let you know that these things are super old, but look how cute she is dancing all around, pointing with her spouse at a Shave Master. <laughs> so all the different Sunbeam, look how happy she is with the cook cooker and deep fryer and dancing around the iron anyway i just thought this was the cutest cutest uh cookbook type pamphlet so that's that so i just want to let you know everything else is the same in this kit it just, just has a bigger booklet and does not have a um stencil so i'm gonna leave you guys there thanks for walking through the kits with me hi karen how are you so these are the baking themed kits and they are up in the shop. I don't know how long you've been there for. I just looked up. So I kind of have been in here talking to myself, <laughs> which is not unusual. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. So anyway, these were fun to put together. I had fun. I love doing. I'm working on some really super cute, love, 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 the ones I'm working on now. I'm doing some prayer journals and hymnals. I got some 1940s Moody magazines from the flea market I went to, the antique. It was an antique flea market. Like, and... Oh, you did? Oh, that's right. It's Saturday. And then, so anyway, so I'm doing the prayer journals. I'm working on those. And uh, those are going to be super cute. And I got some bake light, really pretty bake light um, buckles that I'm going to add. So you can make a journal closure for your journal. So, yeah. And what else? I'm doing some travel themed ones, like road trip themed. I have some really cool 
vintage maps from the 60s. I think they're from maybe earlier um, road maps. And so, and then I've got some really cool old stamps um, that say like trailer company or something. So they're kind of thing. So there's going to be a, like a wood handled stamp in them and a vintage um map and a bunch of other stuff that I got uh, that have to do with like road tripping and of course you know some images and things like that so oh so anyway I'm excited about those oh I'm working on three birthday kit four four birthday kits oh and I did another homemaker but I don't have the, the oh I forgot to put this in there um, I don't have the homemaker. This one, I found another apron and I did another homemaker kit. So I'm probably going to list that one by itself uh, because, hold on one second, because it's a little bit different than the other one. Other ones. Let me see if I can get that one real quick. And I totally forgot, but I'm also getting these listed. I have some clay clips that I'm going to list. Um, well, that doesn't look very pretty, but I've got some uh, rainbow sparkle donut clay clips I made. And then, so I had three of those. There are some garden gnomes. Um, there's blue, yellow, I have one aqua, and I've got a four of the purple little garden gnomes. So these I'm going to try to get in the shop this weekend. They'll probably be up by Monday. Um, and then I've got that bright pink. So I've got these. And then I have these Frappuccinos from Starbucks, like kind of themed uh, cups. And these are handmade. Each, these are not made from a mold. I made these by hand. I made these by, I mean, they're all, these were made from a mold. And then, but I put them on the clip. So they are handmade. But these are all handmade. These are all, each little section is hand rolled hand done, hand everything. <laughs> like these took a lot of time. Oh my goodness. Okay. But not as much time as these. These took a lot longer. Little camper. And I found, okay, this one I'm not selling because I saw the wheel came off of it. But I did find four of these little campers. So I'm going to put these up in the shop. Um, I handmade these. These are each piece together all by hand rolled out and um so these are this is like gold sparkles and the i did it th this color in case you have any of the skate kate spade or the Lou, Louis Vuitton one so because they go great with either one of those if you have any of the kate spade planners or the Louis Vuitton or if you just like vintage campers and then there is this sweet little yellow one so again these were all hand done by me and I'm going to put those up in the shop and get those listed. And then, okay, and then I did another kit, which was this one. This is a vintage homemaker. I found this um, really pretty in my stash. I found another apron. So I'm going to put this up. This is going to be separate from the homemaker ones that I had because I found in my stash, didn't even know I had it, but I have a little golden book called My Home. 
Thanks, Karen. So I have a little golden book called My Home. So that's why this one's going to go up separately. But this is the cutest little golden book. Oh, my gosh. Look at him with the little teapot and the cup and the little dog. It's so cute. Their little dog's name is Sophie. And um, I didn't. I didn't even know I had this. But look how sweet the illustrations are. Are just adorable. So it's all different animals' homes, like where a cow would be. Look at the little pig and the rooster. Oh my gosh. The horse, that's where a horse would live in a stable. Look at this. If I was a clam, I'd live in the sand on a white glistening seashore. So anyway, I thought this was like just such a cute book. And um, and when I found that I had an extra, an extra, um, let me see what year this was from. This is from, it doesn't have a date. Oh, here it is on the back. 1978. And this is an excellent, excellent condition, except for a little bit of a roll right here on the gold but uh, and a little dent up here. But it's really in good shape for being that old. So that is this kit. And the, everything else in here is pretty similar to the other homemaker kits. Um, there is some of this vintage curtain fabric that I had. Um, so there's a swatch of that suite if you want to do a pocket in your book um there is also this uh doily oh my gosh this or i guess this is a doily i'm assuming this was a lot of work and this was a lot of work whoever did this uh this looks like almost, I don't know, they call this cruel work or something? I have no idea. But anyway, so I'm putting that in here. And then along with like all the other papers and advertisements and everything that has to do with homemaking. So, um, you can go through a video on the homemaking. And I'll have some pictures up so you can see what comes in the kit. But I just loved this purple for spring. And then look at this. I found her. She's got her little apron on. And she's got her little apron on. A little mom and daughter. So anyway, so this is, I just had an extra one. Now this one's not up yet. I'll have this one up by Monday also. Um, but this one's going to be listed separately than the other homemaker kit because it's coming with the book. So the other ones only come with the apron. But this one's going to come with the apron and a book. And this is the cutest. I know. Isn't that cute? <laughs> you just keep it and look at it. Yeah, I don't think. But you can always scan the pages out and do a junk journal scan. You could always do the cover, scan it, and put it on chipboard. But look at this with the little, this is all, somebody made this. Somebody made this so, so sweet with the two little pockets and all the little zigzag stitch. Can you see, just see somebody making this and they use their serger? Oh my gosh. I just thought this was the prettiest for spring, May, like for Mother's Day or something. Oh my goodness. If you have a, a crafting mom, this or baking a mom that bakes or anything. Oh my gosh, this is like the cutest ever. Cutest, cutest, cutest ever apron. So I'm I'm letting it go. I'm going through my vintage aprons and letting them go. And Dee Dee bought one from me for her granddaughter and sent me a picture of her granddaughter in it. And let me tell you, it just made my heart so happy to see somebody wanting to um wanting to actually use it. So that is that kit. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm de-stashing a bunch of stamping up stamps. I've got like 14 stamp sets and uh, 
What else am I doing? I'm de-stashing the stamps. I'm de-stashing duct tape. So keep your eye out for next week. Um, I'm doing like uh, just a filling up a medium sized uh, flat rate shipping box with all kinds of cool pattern duct tape. Some of them are new. Some of them have been lightly used. Uh, here I can show you. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on a minute, please. I don't know if I'll get all of these in here because I'm looking and I'm thinking, I don't know if I can get all these in here. But I'm going to try, so I don't know. But um, there's this like, silver paper one. It's not really duct tape. Maybe that won't go in it. Um zebra there's this owl see some of these are new there's owls there's this blue glitter this is new this is pineapples oh that's sweet of your grandma um i probably won't use that one that doesn't have very much left on it but this one with cats and cell phones i don't even know I hardly even use that one. So if you do duct tape crafts or your grandchildren do duct tape craft crafts <laughs> or you use them for binding, there's um oh, see, so these are by duct tape. Duct tape gold. These are great for book bindings. Um flamingos. Let me see. Unicorns, rainbows. This is gold glitter. I don't, some of these I'm going to have to leave out because I don't think they'll fit. Camouflage. Oh, maybe maybe I'll leave this one out since there's already one in there. Use um, burlap. And then these are like little woodsy animals. And fox and a little hedgehog and then I have tapes you've never seen I know because some of these tapes I got at um craft and hobby association from the duct tape people and so some of them never went to market that's how come we probably never saw them um but anyway and then I've got these sheets so I've got duct tape sheets because I thought I was going to make, you can make um, uh, little traveler's notebooks out of duct tape. We, on Scrappy Camper Sisters uh, YouTube channel, we, my sister and I were on there and we did a duck dory and you can make a duct tape um, traveler's notebook with duct tape. Ugh. I know, right? So anyway, so I've got a couple sheets, four sheets of those. So... I don't know how much I should put this for because shipping is going to be like 13 something, right? $14 for the medium. And I don't know. So let's see how many rolls I can get in here. I don't know how many rolls. fit. You might get a little um, of all of her fur ah! <laughs> on the duct tape since it was trying to clean them up. So, so far I've got seven and then eight and then I could do like nine, ten, eleven. 12 so you get 12 rolls and four sheets in here so i don't know like a dollar roll Does that sound fair what do you think i think i can fit them in there i think they'll still ship even though it doesn't quite close 
So, yeah. So that's what's going to come in that. And um, I guess I can't get rid of this stuff, so it is what it is. All right. Five more rolls. So, um, let me see. I'm going to put this. I found this. I thought this was kind of cool. Um, can anybody tell me what this is? Even though I think it's just Karen in here. Anyone know what this is for? Anyone? I'll tell you what it's for. It's for dinner rolls. That's what it's for. It's a vintage dinner roll linen. <laughs> so this I'm going to put up in the shop. I thought it was a really, you could use it as a jewelry pouch, I guess, but it's actually a vintage dinner roll. You put your dinner rolls in there supposedly to keep them warm. And then, um, there is a little stain on there, but it would probably come out if you use OxyClean when you get it. But anyway, look how cute that is. I don't think you, I wonder if you could use it as a vintage. You couldn't use it because it's open. How would you put your jewelry in there? It doesn't close. So, but anyway, that's what it was for. Dinner rolls. Yep, very clever, huh? So I'm going to put that, that's going up in the shop. <laughs> so I thought that was really just unique, kind of interesting thing. And what else do I have? I want to do a kit because look at this for spring. Look at this book. Have you ever seen these, this book before? It's a wonder book and you turn it upside down and it says good night. Good morning and good night. Is this not the sweetest little book? Oh my gosh. So I want to do, um, I came off with something else. I want to do, um, I, I don't want to make a journal. I'd rather just sell the book and then a bunch of stuff with it because uh, um, if you want to keep the book to yourself, but this is just, the, look how cute these images are. Oh my gosh, these are like so cute. Look at the hiding from dad. Dad can't find, look at mom. She's putting the hands over the mom's eyes and pulled her down in the bed. He's dreaming of playing cowboys and Native Americans. And she's dreaming of a birthday party with her little cake, birthday cake. And then that's the end. Good night, good night, good night. Sleep tight. Now close the book and turn it upside down for the other story. And then you get the other story. So cute. Now they taped it with some kind of, it looks like packing tape. So, but I just thought this was like the cutest one. It has little songs on the front. Good morning. This is from 1952. 